nine points behind Arsenal. So, is a gap. Nine points is a, is a gap. Uh, Tottenham ten, no? Tottenham ten is a gap. It's not a gap for us, because for us, we are speaking about um, five, six points. It's not a gap. It's something in, in two matches is, is over. But um, nine, ten points is, is a gap. But I, I keep saying uh, a lot to play in December, beginning of January. We can have a, a look and say if uh, all six are with short distances or if somebody from the six open a real, a real gap. But I think this moment till the end of, uh, of the year is a moment not to decide, of course not, but to, to clarify a little bit the situation. Will it be difficult, especially for Spurs now, though, being 10 points behind? You know, I think in this moment, uh, Spurs and United, they know that if the next step is to reduce from 10 to 7, from 9 to 6, is to go again into the race, but I think they also know if the next move is from 10 to 13 or from 9 to 12 becomes becomes hard. So in this moment, some teams like Arsenal, they are much more comfortable because they can they can slide one match and, and nothing happened to them. And some some other teams, they know the next the next slide can be crucial. But I keep thinking the same. Uh, the six teams are very, very equal in their potential. Different teams in the way they play, the different teams in, in the profile of the team. But potentially I see the six teams as very good teams. And other teams are doing very well, Everton and Southampton and Newcastle. They are doing very well, but I think in the end of, of the day, these six are the real title contenders.